Oh, forget about this reporting on TV. <laughs> now you get a real job. You know the name Wolfgang Puck. He's the celebrity chef to Hollywood stars with a multi-million dollar empire. Today we're going to cook with him. Still like you mean it. And get some business advice along the way. You know, yeah. <laughs> love goes through the stomach, so oh, yeah. I will take you to the kitchen and we're going to cook a little bit together. Love okay? starts from the stomach. Yeah, <laughs> love starts from the stomach. Chef Wolfgang and I are cooking inside the kitchen at Cut, his one Michelin starred restaurant in Singapore. It's really delicious. I love it. Mm, yeah. So good. Yeah, he's eaten like half of the double. I know. <laughs> since we started filming. We're gonna make a baked Alaska. In Singapore, there's no frozen things <laughs> here. But people love ice cream. And what we did, we adapt our baked Alaska to the Singaporean taste. Wolfgang tells me his Singapore restaurants are the most profitable in his business, mainly because labor costs tend to be lower in Asia. But part of his success also comes from adapting to local flavors. And one Singaporean dish Wolfgang loves is a coconut jam called kaya. All right, here's the kaya. Your favorite? <laughs> little kaya toast. A little kaya toast. Perfect egg whites. Don't look <laughs> it. It might fall down. Wolfgang told me that his business empire is worth almost 600 million a year, with about 180 million coming from his fine dining restaurants, 180 million from catering, and the rest from licensing, products, and casual restaurants, which can be found even in airports. It's the kind of material for a Harvard Business case study, except the 68-year-old chef is actually enrolled in Harvard Business School right now. So now I'm gonna go for one more month. And then I'm gonna be a graduate from Harvard without going to high school or college or anything. So I'm very proud of that because I think I can tell my kids now, they have to go to college too. Wolfgang said that Harvard has honed his negotiation skills. I learned about it that you have to actually figure out in your head or on paper, what is the other person negotiating? So that way you know how far they can go and how far you will go. So instead in the old time I used to negotiate, I said it's my way or the highway. If you don't like it, forget about it. So what would Wolfgang teach if he had a class at Harvard? If I tell a young person, gain as much experience before, make your mistakes so that way you don't have to pay for it. Somebody else will pay for it. Once you open your own business, then you pay for it. Singapore was the first place he expanded to outside of the United States, where he was already a household name. I love the city and I love Asian-inspired food or Malay and the whole mixture of the cuisine, so I was very intrigued by it. Then uh, Sheldon Allison was building the Marina Bay Sands and they asked us to come here. We are here since the opening and last year was our best year since we opened. The best part is to taste it. Mm. You can see the ice cream in here, look at that. Look, see the ice cream is still not melted. And you can see it's perfect. Mm. Mm. It's good. It's a pleasure to teach you and you know you can do it at home. Look, we have a new pastry chef here now. <laughs> <laughs>